from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News at 10. Well, a good Wednesday evening to you. We are going to begin tonight in Jefferson County, where more than 300 county workers received their paychecks today. But for the second time in a month, they were issued late thanks to a dispute between the county judge and other county officials. Channel 7's Daniela Dehogany was in Pine Bluff today and has the full story of the payroll crisis in Jefferson County. We spoke to Jefferson County Judge Gerald Robinson, who had been refusing to authorize checks for county employees because of two workers he said should not be paid. One he said involved a sick leave violation, the other he called a case of nepotism. The judge said he had asked the county clerk to remove these two individuals from the county payroll so everyone else could be paid. The county clerk refused because she said she can't tell another elected official what to do. But this is the key to the county clerk's office. In many parts of the state, the county clerk's office is the human resource department. So she has a dual role. Number one, she's in charge of payroll, she's in charge of voting, and she is the human resource manager for the county. And so as the human resource manager, she has the authority that if something is not right, if something is not done according to policy, she can withhold those checks. I also spoke with Jefferson County Sheriff Lafayette Woods. He tells me the delay has been a source of panic for county employees and the community. It violates all type of labor laws. Um, obviously, the U.S. Department of Labor is involved, as they should. Uh, I've been in communication with the State Department of Labor and those officials who I believe are properly situated to place some attention where it's much needed. The payroll issue is only part of a wider existential struggle in Jefferson County government between Robinson and many of the county's officials. The sheriff said that this is not the first time they have had to battle with the judge. The county judge has been served by my office with that lawsuit. So there are several different things that are happening at one time to ensure that this doesn't happen again. The judge says the county clerk played a key role in this and that all she had to do was separate the payroll which he says has been done before. I'm a stickler for policy. And my objective was to make sure that the policy and the law is followed. Judge Robinson has faced criticism from county officials in the past, including accusations that he's mishandled the department's budget. On your side, I'm Daniela Dehogany. Okay, Daniela, thanks. Also today, Pine Bluff's nonprofit Grace Food Pantry delivered food to county workers who had not received their paychecks.